All right, we're back with another video. So I wanna talk about the main reason why you need to move in silence going forward. So you need to teach yourself not to announce good news until everything is sealed. When it comes to your plans for your life, blessings that are coming your way, and you know they're coming because you've been putting in the work, you need to keep that to yourself for the most part. And the reason why is because nothing is really set in stone yet. Until everything is sealed, the good news is sealed, you know it's coming your way, and you have solidified yourself through that blessing, and you see the results, I feel like that's the best time to start sharing good news. Because at least if, if someone's gonna be doubtful and someone's going to try to dismiss um, you know, your come up or success, whatever, or good news, you can at least show them through results, right? And you won't look so bad. You won't feel bad about telling somebody, you know, this piece of good news or success story, share your success story because you can show the results of it. And they can be mad, they can be hateful, right? All they want because they cannot deny the results, right? The other half of that statement is the reason why you don't want to tell those, you know, tell those that are close to you, friends, your circle, the good news, when everything is not sealed yet, it's because you could attract those jealous spirits into your life. And that is so important that you do not announce your plans so early, so prematurely, because those jealous spirits, man, they can come into your life. And somebody that may have a jealous spirit, they may be so jealous to a point where they're trying to, they may be trying to pray on your downfall and pray that nothing goes your way and who knows you may have told somebody the good news and they may be a warlock or a witch and somebody that practices the arts okay and they're doing witchcraft on trying to basically perform your downfall pray on your downfall and that you don't make it and that you come through all these stumbling blocks and that you don't find your way or you don't find you know your success right this is very serious you know because there are people like that the jealous and, and, and the thing is some people don't realize that they have that jealous spirit they don't know any better but because things are not happening fast for, for them in their life or they're not growing they're not developing in their own life they're going to feel some type of way about you growing and developing the way that you've been and why things in your life are working out for you they're going to feel envious and probably left out because they're not experiencing the same success. And so they'll look at your life, they'll look at your results with a red eye because nothing good is happening for them. And that's just the truth, you know, for the most part. And you don't want to attract these jealous spirits into your life. Because guess what? They can cause a hindrance. They can be a nuisance in your life. You know? And you gotta look out for the signs of jealous people. Because like I said in my past video, 
You cannot tell a jealous person good news. You cannot share your blessings, you know, to a jealous person because they got that jealous spirit in them that they cannot control. And the reason they have that jealous spirit is because they're not secure in their own life and things are not working out for them. That's the only way that they, they know how to deal with their own, their own failure with their own shortcomings. Some people are just not strong enough to look at themselves in the mirror and point out what they're doing wrong. Hold themselves accountable, right? And to also be humble, right? Like if you wanna talk about removing that jealous spirit, you gotta learn how to be humble and learn to take accountability for your own life. and learn the importance of growth in your own walk. But when you're watching other people, it's easy to, to you know, cleave on to that jealous spirit. It's very easy to be envious because you're, you're busy watching other people succeed. You're busy watching other people grow and develop. You're seeing how things work out for them in their life. And so to me, that's a distraction for you. If you intend on growing in certain areas of your life, you're distracting yourself by watching other people. You know, it's, it's cool to be happy for other people's success and, and whatnot. But you also have to take in consideration that you may be distracting yourself too much by watching that individual. You're watching them too closely on their social media pages and in person as well. And you're not putting in enough work into your own life. And so you have to have motion in your own life in order for you to, in order for yourself to be secure. You have to have put in more motion and put in more work in your own life. Like, I like how I'm doing right now, driving, I'm staying in my lane, right? I'm staying in my lane right now. That's how you got to act with your own life. That's how you got to operate. Stay in your own lane. This is how you can like literally, you know, wipe off that hatred, wipe off that jealousy, that envious spirit, all that. But I just want to make it clear in this video that you don't want to announce, you know, the good news early because that can attract the jealous spirits. And especially when nothing is sealed yet, okay? Nothing is really set in stone yet. So you have to move in silence, okay? You have to play smart. Because the spiritual warfare that we're in, it's real. And the jealous spirits, they exist. In family, friends, and co-workers, you know. When you tell a successful person your goals and they're ahead of you in life, there's no way they can be looking at you all red eye. There's no way because they're winning in their own life. They're only going to probably support and cheer you on. You know, they don't have time to hate because they got more motion going on in their life than you do. You know, so they're secure in their own life because they built themselves up and they have established themselves. The people that are your friends or their your family, co-workers, they have not established themselves in their own life and they have not put in enough work on themselves to be able to shake off a jealousy spirit. They can't shake it off because why? They haven't done the work on themselves. They haven't done the internal work. They haven't done the root work. Okay? So there's no way 
that they can avoid the jealous spirits. And so, when they have nothing going on, it's easy for them to watch other people. So, I just want to make that clear to y'all. Hopefully, y'all found some value in this message, you know, and hopefully it helps you out personally. Um, so, make sure y'all like the video for the algorithm. More content is to come, you know. Do not attract those jealous spirits, man. You know, whatever good news that may be coming your way, keep it to yourself. I know it's hard, and you and you're excited. You want to you want to share it all with people. That sounds all good and whatnot, but you have to learn how to keep things private. You know, move in silence and win in silence. Okay. So with that being said, thank y'all for watching. This is Solo Dolo Talks. I'm out and peace.